being able to measure a model is important. In Nevisworks, you can go and you can use the review tab, and it contains a number of ways of measuring a model. So there are six options. You can measure between two points, between multiple points, along a line, you can accumulate measurements, you can measure an angle, you can measure an area. So let's do the first one point to point. So we're going to use a splanter box as an example. The cursor becomes surface sensitive, so it'll jump between different click points. So we're going to go from a vertex to the next vertex, our corner. So this is 887 millimeters. Next option is to actually measure from a single point to multiple points. So we'll click in this corner and we'll measure away to two different points. So we can measure this one, this is one dimension, or we can measure to the opposing corner. You can see here, I'm click in this one and we get dimension. So you can then measure along a point line. So we can measure from a starting point, and this will accumulate the measurements as you go along. So I'll click, click the next point, it will add it up to 5.8, and so on and so on. This is useful for measuring perimeters. You can do accumulate. And accumulate sums up a number of measurements. So it doesn't matter where you start and end from, each measurement is a new measurement. So here we're going second dimension, We'll go back to that third point, and we can continue the same thing. So we can go all the way around the, the uh, planter box, taking dimensions as we go. So you can see it's giving us a dimension of 16 and a half meters so far, and if we go to the end, if you do this too quick, you notice that the click point's not entirely correct. You measure angles between objects, so you can measure along this face, and it will give you the angle between the two edges. Um, and last but not least, you can measure areas. So click on the area, and then we'll measure the internal area of the planter box. It's pretty much clicking on the same points as before. Uh, looking for the vertex. And this gives you a measurement in square millimeters. So obviously divide by a million, and you get square meters. So in this case, 22.76 square meters. Now the good thing with this is once you've got your measurement, you can actually can create that as a save viewpoint. So you convert to red line. And the convert to red line will create a new view which you can then rename. So we're going to call this the planter area. And if you jump between views, you see how this works. This records the actual dimensions. Now you can also measure between objects. So if I select two columns, I can use the shortest distance command on the review tab, and it will tell me the shortest distance between two objects. Now this is useful for measuring headrooms. So another example, if I pick a beam and a slab, I can use the same tool on the review tab, short distance, and I can see I've got 305 clearance beneath the beam. Now, another useful function is you can lock the dimensions, so lock perpendicular is very popular. So I want to check the underside of a beam to a ramp, so it's a sloping object. So I measure perpendicular to the ramp, and it tells me I've got a 5.25 dimension. 